Greetings, everyone. This is your boy, Bobby. Yeah. 1984 coming to you with another one of those Call of Duty Whack Ops 2 game. Play, 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 play. And I'm not going to lie. I'm just not going to lie to you guys. I am enjoying playing this game again. Uh, me and my boy Chris and. Uh, and Jameson and whoever I can get to hop on with me, whether it be my man CLS, whoever, man, we we hop on. We've been hopping on on the, pretty much uh, every other night, and and we do. We rage and scream and holler like the old days, man. I'm back to love and playing this game. I don't know. I, I if I can get some free time, I just hop on and play, and I'm I'm enjoying this game again. So, you know. As usual, playing Domination, one of my favorite game modes where I can either play the objective or just run around reckless and do whatever I want to do. But, you know, this was a tough game right here. Uh, we it, Things weren't going right for Chris and uh, CLS and I, but we, we we just stuck it through and let you guys just watch it. I'm not going to give away what happens, but I'm just going to say it was a tough game. But one of the things I want to talk about today because... You know, we talked about Black Ops 3 the other week, and I don't really have too many, too much more information on it, so I don't want to, I don't like really speculating on stuff. I like, I like the facts and what it is, and then I go on from there. So, I'm going to tell you guys a story. Now, a few months ago, I did a, um, a commentary, I think on Advanced Warfare, I was talking about, like, going through a midlife crisis and how I wanted to go skydiving and do all these crazy things that's on my bucket list, and... The crazy thing is, back in March, uh-oh, he rage quit, see? <laughs> he got up out here. But the thing is, back in March, I finally pulled the trigger and went skydiving with a couple of co-workers from IGN. And and I talked about doing it for a long time. It was one of my things growing up. Watch a lot of action movies. And one of my favorite movies growing up was Point Break with Keanu Reeves and, um, oh, God, Patrick Swayze. I forgot who else was in there, but... It is Patrick Swayze, right? Oh, yeah, it's Patrick Swayze. And I enjoyed the, the skydiving scenes that they did. I mean, it just looked so fun and breathtaking. And I was like, I, I want to do this, you know. But, uh, you know, growing up, I was always scared, you know what I mean? It was a, it was a big enough adventure living in Richmond, California, and, and just trying to make it, you know, through life without any issues, let alone jumping out of a perfectly fine plane. But eventually... One of my co-workers, Angelique, she uh, took her, her boyfriend on her on his 30th birthday uh, skydiving. And uh, I have a co-worker here that works in the finance department. And he is one of the uh, the tandem skydivers on the weekend. So everything kind of was playing out. They had like a Amazon local coupon. Everything played out well. And it's like, you know what? I got to do this. So I talked to one of my other co-workers into doing it. My main man, Adam, I talked him into doing it with me. And... That coming Sunday, you know, I didn't want to waste no time. I said, I'm not going to dwell on this and then eventually, you know, back out. I said, I'm going to do this. So that Sunday, we made our appointments for 10 a.m. And it was a big group of us. And we went out there. It was in um, Stock, was it Stockton? Uh, Stockton, Tracy, California. I mean, I know you guys really don't know where that's at. But it's kind of like, I call it the uh, boondocks, middle of nowhere. Because it's kind of like open field to, you know, farmland type stuff. But... That's where the place is located. We went out there, got there, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was I was kind of scared. I was nervous because um, it's not something you just do on a regular basis. Like go to like a theme park and get on a roller coaster. You know, you're about to jump out of a plane. And for those of you who's who are you know experienced skydivers, I went I jumped at 10,000 feet, which is the lowest you can do. And it was a tandem. I didn't go by myself because uh, you know I gotta be, gotta be trained on that. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm scary. I'm scared and. I don't want to have that responsibility having to pull a cord or whatever it is for the parachute. So that wasn't going to be me. So we get there and I wanted to go with my coworker, the guy who worked there, you know, who was doing the tandem. Cause I, you know, I met him and he seemed like a real cool dude. And I was just like, yo, I want to go with Lee, you know, name's Lee. It's like, I want to go with Lee. Lee seemed like he know what's going on. I even asked him, I said, yo, let's say you become unconscious during the fall. What, what's going to happen? You know, who's going to pull the, pull the cord. But he told me, it, it's it's a it's a, a chip in the device that it knows at a certain altitude if it had if if you guys had if he hadn't pulled the cord it's gonna do it for us so you know I I had I got all my questions out the way and I felt pretty safe but the cold thing about it is my main man Adam went with Lee so I got stuck with a different person that I didn't know and and he gave me a lot of instructions and telling me don't do this don't do that don't grab me don't do this and I'm just like man I'm already terrified and. You know, now you're giving me a job of what not to do. I don't want to be thinking about that type of stuff. So 
So we got up there 10,000 feet. I'm already freaking out as we going higher and higher in the plane. And I'm strapped to him. Uh-oh, we losing 61 to 111. Look at those connections. Things aren't looking right. But as we going higher and higher and higher, I'm freaking out. But this is when things get real serious. The moment they open up that door and all that wind hits you in the face, that's when shit gets real. Like you, 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 you kind of clench up. Your stomach kind of balls up. Your, your toes kind of. You know, they don't curl in, they curl out. You know, mine kind of did a reverse curl. And they scoot you out and they put you out first. Like, they kind of dangle you out the plane. So I'm looking at at, at, at the ground and the clouds and I'm, I'm like, yo. And we do the rock back and forth and next thing you know, we out the plane. And and I had a guy that was uh, with a camera, a helmet camera. He's recording it and I'm just freaking out. I'm spewing all type of profanities out and just... I'm like, yo, man, you got to turn up the nasty music by my main man, that hood chemist. But uh, I'm falling and I'm freaking out. And before you know it, man, we hit, we, you know, we, we hit the ground. We kind of had a crash landing. I kind of, kind of hurt my knee a little bit. And come to find out, the owner of the place, real nice guy, walks up to me. He's like, man, I got good news. And I got bad news. Good news is your pictures came out wonderful. Everything's beautiful. They're awesome. Bad news is your video malfunction and we don't have the video for you and i'm just crushed at this at this moment i'm crushed i'm like man i wanted my kids my family and friends to see this and like i could care less about the pictures i wanted the video so i'm just sitting there like damn i just came all the way out here jumped out this plane and i, don't, I got pictures but i wanted video to prove that i did this so he's like you know what? we're gonna charge you whatever price you can do it again blah 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 and i'm like you know what? i only want to do it like at that point i didn't want to talk i was mad i was like this sucks but my main man, Adam, was like, yo, you want that three-piece leg and thigh? And I was like, man. <laughs> but now nah, he's like, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to go talk to him, man. You know, he went and talked to the owner. And next thing you know, the owner came out and said, you know what, Bobby? You can go back up again today for free. Get you your, your pictures for free. We'll get you that three-piece leg and thigh. Oh, no, give me a two-piece. Okay, they give you, give you the two-piece. But he's like, you know what? You go back up for free. Get you the pictures for free. Give you the video for free. You just got it. It's up to you. But I'm like, man, I want to go back up. There it is, that three-piece leg and thigh. You know, he's like, what's the worst that can happen? I said, well, hell, the parachute can malfunction this time. But I was, I was a good soldier. I, I waited a few more hours, got my chance to go with my main man, Lee. And he told me, don't even worry about nothing, man. We're going to have fun. Just go up there and do what you got to do. So we went up for the second time. And again, you would think... Now I know what to do. You know, I know what to look forward to. But no matter what, when they open up that door to the plane to let you know it's time to go, that's when shit gets real again. Like, I was freaking out all over again. But this time, you know, Lee did a good job, man. Instead of doing the rock where it's like one, two, three, he rocked once, and then you out the door. He didn't give you a chance to really freak out. You know, you just out the door. And and, and I honestly don't remember anything else. I remember looking at, at my man who had the camera on his helmet and kind of giving him the, the middle finger. And then kind of smiling and then screaming my my life away. But next thing you know, you're back on the ground. And this time, the video came out perfectly. The pictures came out wonderful. And I just keep telling myself, like, as all this time is going by, I keep telling myself, man, I want to go up to 13,000 feet. And then I want to go to uh, to uh, Monterey and do the 18,000 foot tandem drop. Because I, I don't want to do it by myself. I don't want to jump out by myself. I want to go in a tandem. But I, it, it was just one of those experiences that... Like, damn, I did it twice in one day. You know, it was crazy, but I enjoyed it, and I want to do it again. And for those of you who's never done it, man, if you one of them uh, adrenaline junkies or you just want, want to experience something amazing, you got to go skydiving. You got to do the tandem skydiving. I'm sorry. You got to do tandem skydiving because it, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't recommend you do it twice in one day because I ain't going to lie. I went home, and I took a nap. Ooh, I took a nap, and I, I was out for hours, man. I was I was. I was done, but hopefully, hopefully, <sighs> man, I'm just thinking about it right now and just like sitting here just thinking about flying through the air, you know, but this game is starting to wind down. We kind of turned it around. It's 153 to 163. We got 40 some seconds, 45 seconds left to go. And this isn't one of those games where I dominated, folks. I mean, this was a struggle for me and my teammates. We was working on that three bar connection. It, it, things weren't working out for Chris and CLS and I, but we kept pushing and pushing and, and, and just trying our hardest to, to to not lose, you know. And this is what I miss about playing my Call of Duty, you know. I could go play other games, but when you ain't got that much time and you just got time to play something real quick, I, I, I mean, I didn't plug my 360 back up. 
and I'm back playing Black Ops 2 as I get ready for Black Ops 3 and I don't know hopefully you guys can plug the game back in and, and hopefully you guys get that same experience I'm getting but as you can see we came we saw and we tried not to lose and at the end baby we tie it up for the draw yes sir but if you enjoyed this gameplay please leave those comments and until next time we don't, don't.